sorry, my neighbors are partying. Okay, so we know that our guiding principle for the month is security. We know that the theme is healing chaos. So I also wanted to pull a self-care, some self-care guidance, right? To help us get through. And so what came up was energy work, right? So maybe doing some chakra work, right? Some meditation, maybe getting some Reiki. You know, some of the guidelines are being lifted now. So it's a little safer, especially if you're a person who chose to get vaccinated. It's a little safer for you to go get your massages, get your energy work, get your body work done, honey. <laughs> of course, you can come to me if you want a Reiki. I do do Reiki via Zoom, right? I would love to get some acupuncture. Oh my God, I haven't had acupuncture in like two years. So I would love to get some acupuncture myself. And so we say that, you know, Reiki is like acupuncture without the needles. But just to get these energy centers, these portals, you know, one of the things we say about the chakra system is that these are portals. You know, these are how we actually experience the world. We actually experience the world through our chakras. I'll talk about that at another time. Right. But this is the guidance. Get yourself some energy work. And what I love about this book and these cards, the sacred self-care oracle, is that they give you a mantra for the month, right? So the mantra here is my energetic body is clear and radiating love. My energetic body is clear and radiating love. So as I said in the intro, you know, you'll get some astrology here. You'll get some numerology here. So this is card number 22. So in numerology, we would reduce that down to a four. And four is so powerful. I mean, it is the number of the four elements. It is the number of the four directions, right? It is also a number of foundation. I use the number four in rituals where I want to increase, where I want to work on foundation building. I use the number four, right? And the 20, and so, you know, and 22, actually, you don't have to reduce actually the number 22 because this is called a magic number in numerology. And so it is a higher octave of the number four right so if four is about foundation building which it is 22 is even more than that so yeah this will be a good month to get your energy right and we're gonna have to with all of the things that are happening we're gonna have to and then our archetypes so when we think about archetypes you know and if, if folks know uh, you know have a better definition and even if you just want to share your definition of archetypes please drop down in the comments and share with the rest of us you know journeyers you know those of us on this journey us journey people your definition of an definition of an archetype when i think of an archetype i think of i see a picture although it's much more than that of something that we're describing. You know, an archetype can be an idea, a well-known idea, an idea that is shared with many people about a person, place, or thing. So if you think about mother, the mother is an archetype, right? We have certain ideas about what that is. The father is an archetype. We have a certain idea about what that means, what that looks like, right? But like I said, archetypes can also be a thing, a place, right? And so this archetype from the Wild Unknown Archetypes Oracle deck, I feel that it's important for me to share the cards that I'm using um, because you know, for me, when I started following other tarot readers, I would love, I'd love their decks. And that's why I have so many doggone decks now. I bought so many decks during the pandemic. I mean, you could see some of them in the background over there. 
um, on my little altar over there under the window. Those are all decks. And then I have a ton right here as well next to me. Because I had some really, of my favorite tarot readers. Hey, so fine, you blow my mind. Ooh, I haven't heard that in a long time. So fine, so fine, blow my mind. Baby, baby, baby. Hey. All right. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. Let me get my train of thought. See, this is my Gemini moon. See, this is Gemini season. This is Gemini season. You're trying to do something. You're trying to like be on point. And then it's like, hey, wait, is there a party? What? Is there music playing? Like, that's Gemini. <laughs> that's Gemini. <laughs> That's Gemini season. <laughs> okay. So let me rein it back in. All right. So I like to share my decks, what I'm using, because I would watch these tarot readers and I would see like the back of their deck or this card and I'd be like, oh my God, like what deck is that? And some tarot readers they list all of the decks, the Amazon links that you can go to or the independent, you know, stores that you can go to or the Etsy sites that you can go to to get these these decks. And it's so great. Others just didn't respond. So like this, this is my sacred destiny deck, right? So one of the readers that I used to follow, all, this was all I saw. And she never told me what deck it was. <laughs> So I literally was scouring the internet, typing in oracle cards with the ocean and the sun under it. And I'd be like, with security. So I'd be like, security, oracle card, ocean, sunset. And then finally I came upon another reader. I saw the card and that's how so so much of last year which and it's fun like so much of it like scouring like searching to find these wonderful decks um is part of the, part of the fun of it but i just i'm a nerd like that again gemini moon and so but everybody doesn't like to do that type of thing so that's why i like to show and share what i'm actually using so anyway kim Krantz, the wild unknown archetype i also use her animal ally so i think i'll probably also pull an animal ally for the month that um folks can use if i can stop singing so fine okay so it's the ocean and so obviously what do we know about the ocean the ocean is wide it's vast it's dark it's deep right and so in this particular deck the ocean represents the subconscious and so it says the energy of the ocean is present there is change stirring that is beyond any change you've known before that healing chaos the ego must dissolve. The saline smells work on your very cells, your fibers, your deepest underlying beliefs. Like Aphrodite, we rise from the ocean's froth, a new being. Life is change. Let the waves crash. So there it is. I mean, there's much more here, but this is a card of dreams, of discovery, of things going on behind the scenes. But for me, most importantly, change. So this is why we get our energy work right because we already know healing chaos the ocean and in my practice right my teacher um jen the rainmaker i have so many teachers but jen the rainmaker um in our practice when we see water in our dreams because we do dream work that means like that can, that's a warning of like change of upheaval right and so here's the ocean again coming up as an archetype for gemini season so how do we prepare we use our crystals we get our energy work. We do the things we're supposed to do. We use our herbs. We see it for what it is, an opportunity to revisit our relationship, reimagine our relationship to communication, to commerce, and to community. Okay, that's all I got. Ain't got no mo. In the words of Funky Dineva. 
Thank you for hanging out. And if nobody's told you today, you are loved and you deserve love. And so do I. I'm Zoe Flowers and I'll see you next time. Bye.